Hey everybody, I'm KK. I'm Kristen. Together we are K and K Crochet. Welcome back to the channel. And so this is going to be like our where we stand at the beginning of January for 2024 because we didn't get time to record any other time. So I'm going to show works in progress first and then we'll talk about what I plan to do. So this is my first works in progress. This is a shawl by Spring the Fiber Enthusiast called You're the Inspiration. And so I've done the body of the shawl and I've started the um, or wrap and I've started the border. Um, I think I talked in a live before about how I started this and this is the wrong size yarn even though it says that it's a certain size. It is not that size. Um, it says it's a two but it's more of a one. And so it's going to be smaller but it'll be for like a little kid. So that's where I'm at. I think last time I showed it I didn't have any of the border on it. That's where the border stands right now. Um, my third work or second works in progress that I'm working on that you've been seeing is my baby blanket, which is which is <laughs> a moss stitch in the red heart camo. And I really like the way that's working up. That's as far as I've gotten. It's pulling. That's as far as I've gotten, but that's still farther than it was last time. I'm not quite sure how far. I think last time I showed it, I was probably at this stitch marker right here. Well, if I could get it to help. Help, Kristen, help. What is it? Okay, at this stitch marker, and so I've gone that far down. A little more than, I think, double. Yeah. It was more than that, and I missed a stitch and realized I had to go back. Oh, or, no, I hate or I did something. Happens. No, this wasn't the one. I missed a stitch on the scarf. I was working. I had to go back. Oh. This one, I was getting uneven on the edges because I just wasn't paying attention. You have to watch real quick, real close with the moss stitch there and make sure you catch that last stitch. So that's what that is. So this one is for my youngest, Luke, uh, for his future children. Kristen's is done, and then I have to make one for my oldest. Um, and then my last work in progress is my Christmas blanket. I never did tell you guys what it was, and I'm not going to tell you until I get to change colors, but, and I don't know where I was at on it either, but, um. Is that a stitch marker or fuzz? Fuzz. It's fuzz. I'm like, what well, are No, it's fuzz. No, it's had. Yeah. Where is my stitch marker? I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't know. Anyway. I have... There's one. Yeah. There's one right there, too. So I think I was here last time where the candy cane is. And so I'm now... Or I might have even been where this purple one is. And I'm this far up. I'm trying to look and see. I have... Have I? Yes. I've started to decrease up the other side. So it's as wide as it's going to be. Well... The middle part anyway there's a border around it but this is as wide as it's going to be and so i will pick up from that eventually it kind of went on the back burner when i started doing the stitch marker stuff for christmas and was trying to finish up some christmas gifts which um yeah so that's where i stand with works in progress what are you working on i have the same shawl that mom has which i haven't touched since the live because i worked on something else and I worked on uh, I got sick I have a few things that I'm planning on making um, first off I got 60 scrunchies and 16 claw clips for Christmas wasn't me I have well partially it was you that's true I have to figure out a way to fix it so I have a plan in progress I'm gonna do like a mandala on those metal hoops and make spots for them and then I want to do um, Susan Lawless sent me some green like sage green ombre yarn and I want to make like one of them couch snuggle things you know what I'm talking about or like blankets with arms snuggy yeah, like those. Or like a blanket with arms. Because when I'm crocheting, my arms are cold. I don't put on a jacket. So I want to do one of those. And then I'm making a gift for a co-worker right now. And those are my plans. Um, mine, I said I wasn't going to make goals this year. And I'm not. Um, other than somebody said, well, you are making goals by saying you're not going to do things. And that's true. That's very true. That's a good way to look at it. Like, I'm not going to stress out. 
just like 13 days we have without videos and I started to stress out and I thought you know what it is beyond my control there's nothing I can do about it and so when it's beyond your control there's no need to worry about it right if I would have I could I would if I could have I would have so um, I'm also not going to stress out about um, um, routine that, that's that's a good way routine like um, I'm not we're we've never been routine girls we're not going to be routine girls you're going to get a live off the seat of our pants in the middle of a pop-up sometime like hello here we are it's just the way it is i cannot do a schedule excuse me i wish i could i love those who can because i can depend on them to be there all the time when i want to go watch them but we can't do that so it's not gonna happen um excuse me i'm not going or we are not going to be doing um, like a certain day of the week that we do things no. we can't keep up with it it's it's life is crazy life is crazy and to me that is adding extra stress that you don't need now for those who can do it I love your channels and I love to watch you do it but I can't do it so um, there's nothing wrong with it at all it's a fabulous thing I think it's a great way for to keep people on track and to keep them um, watching your channel so that they know what's going to happen but we're just kind of um, surprised for the moment. This is what we're doing kind of thing. And we enjoy that. That's what makes crochet for us fun. So that's what we're going to keep doing. So you're going to see these things where we just randomly comment and um, come on maybe and crochet. You may see some crochet and chats where we just sit and crochet and talk to you through the, through the video. And then you play the video back instead of a live. You may see lives where we do that. Um, I hope to do more of that more crochet and chat and just kind of life stuff and this is where we're at um and this is what we're doing roxy stop go she's like what mom yeah diva um so you're gonna see some different things um you are still gonna see we've mentioned before hopefully christmas extravaganza you are going to see some different things along the way that we're going to do this year but as far as like new blanket project or something that's a year-long project we're not doing it so what I'm doing instead of those types of things is I'm making a list and I did this last year and it worked really well I'm making a list of all the items that I want to make anything I've ever seen that I really want to make and some of it's on paper some of it's on my phone that has saved patterns some of it's on the computer or YouTube that has saved patterns in a thing called uh, a watch later list that's private just for me um, so all those things are things that I'm looking at so that I can keep track so that when I go, oh, I've finished all these projects. That was another thing. I normally don't have that many projects that are whips. And as you saw, I have, what, three? Yeah, that's a lot for me. I don't usually, I usually do one at a time. So I stepped outside my comfort zone this year and I did that and now it's setting and not being done. And so um, I don't know that I'll continue to do that. I like to have a project and complete it. I don't like to have a bunch sitting around waiting to be done but also these have been things that I've brought out when I got tired of doing other projects and picked them up and they were like what I call mindless I can just crochet and not think about it so maybe those are good whips to have except for the the shawl of springs that's not a mindless project that's one I have to pay attention to and it's one that I started with the intent to finish and then I got sick or it would have been finished already so I hope to finish that um, relatively soon so all of those things are going to be things that you're going to see and uh, but I'm going to make a list of items I want to do and then when I have a blank time and I finished up a project I'm going to go back to the list and think hmm are any of these ones I want to start working on I do have a list for Christmas gifts I have a list of people I want to make Christmas gifts for they're probably all not going to happen because they're all blankets yes they are all blankets yeah, I know. I have a list of uh, four, five, six, seven, seven blankets. I doubt. Seriously, I make seven blankets in a year, especially the seven I want to make because um, four of them are graph cans, C to C graph cans. So I doubt seriously I get that done. I might. I might pick it up and decide, hey, this is what I want to do and bust them out. There are four of them that have to be done in a year if I do them because they just have to be because of who they're for 
and the other three could be done just whenever. The other three might actually just be a solid color or a variegated color that I can put together. Those are easier to do. I can do a C to C and bust those out and just work on them whenever. So I don't know how that's going to work. Plus my blanket would be eight. So in my mind, I'm going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't get these done. I can't get these done. And it's just January. So that may not be what happens, but we'll see. We'll see. I may get into the spirit, especially after January passes, and really, really, really want to make it work. And it may be what I work on the most. And some other things may fall to the side. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on is the things that I want to make. And then I may find one thing this past year. The uh, towel toppers were at the dish towel things that you put over top of the stove. Those were the big, the, not the big thing, but it was the major thing that I made for everybody. And so I made a bunch of them, like a bunch of them. I want to say I probably made 40 or so of those. And we gave them away as gifts. And so um, those were the thing for the year. And I thought about maybe these slippers that Kristen made, but I don't know about sizing for feet. You know, you never know. But just something like that, that I want to find one thing that I can make a bunch of. And I am making stuff to put into a tote to have on hand for gifting and for donations. So those are the things I'm going to be focusing on. And of course, um, also hats. So those are things I'm going to be focusing on. Hopefully I get back in gear and start crocheting again because I'm tired of not crocheting. So, And I feel like I've already wasted so much time. Even though it's only the, as we're recording, it's only the 10th of January, but still. So anyway, that's where we stand and how we look as we're going into this new year. Um, we want to see the channel grow, of course. Please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe if you're not and share if you will and let people know that we're here. Um, we're not a tutorial channel. We're not a um, stitch channel or anything like that. Um, there are some stitches that I have shared in the past, but I don't show you how to do them. I just tell you that I found them and I may do that again in the future. We do, you know, reviews sometimes, but basically we're just sharing what we've made and letting you know that there are projects out there that can be made and who, who created the project and where we got it from and showing you the end result. And that way you can figure out if you want to make it or not and just letting you in on our journey and, and, our, and on our life, right? So that's where we stand and we hope to see you again soon and don't forget to be kind. Do you see that fly around my head? I don't know what yeah, that is. It needs to fly. go away. A fly? I'm huh? pretty sure it's a fly. I thought it was a moth. Anyway. It's something. I think it was a moth. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, we've just taken out all the air conditioners and everything, so who knows. So anyway, we hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to be kind because... You have us a journey. Bye. Bye.